I'm going to show you how to dismantle your math hub spigot and show you how to change the seat and maybe even how to grind the seat. Um, this is typically what you'll see. You, know, you have your handles, you have your tube that goes back here, scutcheon, and um, this part goes down to your tub, and this part goes up to your shower. See this. Goes up to your shower. This is your thermometer in the middle. Up for shower, not for tub. And of course, hot and cold. First thing you want to do is take your screws out. And I'll be up and down with this. But remove your screws to your handles. Next thing you want to do is sometimes they'll come off easily, usually not though, is we'll want to use a puller. And this goes on your handle and into your screw there, where the screw used to be. And you tighten that up, and this will pull off your handle pretty easily. Of course everybody may not have this. Okay, here it comes. Okay, it's on there pretty good, but that was able to take it off. And we'll do that for the other two. Now, if you don't have a puller, you're pretty much going to have to just wiggle it out with a screwdriver. And you're going to have to try and get your wall and just try to wiggle that out the mess you can until you can get it loose. And I, I did that for a number of years before I had a puller. You just got to keep on wiggling it back and forth. Back and forth. Use your screwdriver. Wait, you know, try and get some wall and get it loose. Okay, before we go any further, I want to say that if your stuff is really tight, penetrating spray um, will do wonders for this. It'll help out a lot. So, I didn't use it here, but if you need to, go ahead and hose them down with the penetrate. Next, we'll take off our scutcheons here. These ones had set screws in them, and I already had those loosened. Normally, they don't have set screws. Next, we'll pull off our sleeves here. These ones seem to be coming off rather easy. Now, if you have one that's tight, I like to use a pair of channel locks with a rag, or at the end where no one can see. If you mark it up, to get these apart. But again, you can use some uh, penetrating liquid on these also if they're not loose. Okay, we're down to our, our stems. So, usually your stems are buried in the wall. So, it's not as easy as putting on a adjustable uh, pressure wrench and loosening them up. That's not how it works. So, 
we have a way we gotta either put a socket on there or um, use a special plumbing socket. So we'll do that next.